Hey, Loopline here, and in this video I want to go over the Alive Checker add-on. So if you don't already have the add-on installed, you'd go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons, and then you would just find the Alive Checker, which is here, and you can install it or you can update it if you are out of date. Um, once you have it installed, you're going to go here to the Add-ons menu and then just go to Alive Checker and launch it. And then um, we need some URLs to check. So I went ahead and did a quick scrape in the background here just in the word test. And I'm going to go to URLs and load from Harvester. You can also load them from a file. Now, if you are running an Alive Check on a large list of URLs from your website or your domain, from the same domain rather, you probably want to keep connections pretty low. 20 is not that bad, but I'm going to go even lower. Um, move it down here to like 8 works. And so that way we're not hammering away on our own site especially if you were to crank the connections all the way up um, and you're on just you know like a basic shared hosting or something so you really probably want to keep connections low unless you're spreading it out over multiple domains multiple servers that sort of thing so in this case um, we have a few options before we get started and that here under options is this so we can specify our um, status code that will show as alive. So when it's going to happen is when we start it, it's going to run over here and you'll see status, alive or dead. And so right now a 200 status code, which is a normal OK, uh, will show as alive and um, other things such as like 404 would show as dead. So we can specify other codes in here if we want to have other certain codes show up. We also have the option to follow relocation. So by default, if the URL redirects to another URL, it could show as dead. Whereas if we follow, click this box, it'll follow through and resolve the end URL and uh, use the status code of that to determine if it's our live or dead. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. Uh, hit start. Let it go through here. Uh, moves pretty fast. and once it's done, we can see that there's a couple of deads in there. Um, you may get certain things like timeout if a server is busy or whatever, um, which could cause an issue. So you can recheck the failed. Um, and it went through and rechecked the failed. But, and then those are indeed dead. At least they don't offer a status code of 200. So once we're done with that, we can save them. And there's multiple different save options. I can save all or alive or dead to scrape box. I can save all alive and dead to my hard drive and then I can export the whole grid as a Excel sheet and then I can sort it uh, and export what I want or do what I want with that list. And that is how you use the Scrapebox Alive Checker add-on.